I would like to ask you what are your expectations of this Council of Europe's winter session? And in, in general terms, our expectations are that the Council of Europe, its parliamentary assembly, should be committed to its own uh, principles on which it was established. The rule of law, human rights, um, fundamental freedoms. Uh, so, unfortunately, what we are seeing here, particularly with respect to the situation of Turkey, uh, there are many other interests and considerations other than human rights, the rule of law, and democracy. And what are these other, in, these other interests that stop the Council of Europe to tackle effectively these violations of human rights? So, as you may know, there, is, uh, there was a coup attempt in Turkey uh, which didn't fail but only changed leadership and direction. And the government has been using uh, the coup attempt as an opportunity to silence all oppositional voices in the country, all critical voices in the country. And now we are preparing for a referendum uh, where people would vote for a constitutional package and then if successful the current president of the country would establish what he calls a Turkish type presidential system in which there will be no separation of powers, no rule of law and no independent judiciary. It's a very grim situation but unfortunately uh, despite the fact that various committees uh, Committee on Political Affairs and Democracy and the Monitoring Committee in particular, plus two co-reporters for Turkey, plus an ad hoc committee specifically investigating the developments under emergency rule in Turkey. All of them, they concurred that there should be an urgent debate on Turkey about uh, the functioning of democratic institutions. But this uh, proposal, this joint proposal, was refused by the Bureau of the Assembly uh, and they simply uh, decided that there was no urgency to discuss uh, what is happening in Turkey. I mean, in Turkey, more than 100,000 people were dismissed from their jobs, members of parliament are in prison, a lot of Kurdish mayors are in prison, more than uh, 4,500 uh, academics were dismissed, were dismissed, they lost their jobs. We can't even count the number of human rights violations and what the bureau did was to mainly remain silent on the issue which gave president erdogan three more months and in this coming three months he will be repressing the opposition even more why they are doing this there are a couple of reasons one is of course i mean there is the refugee crisis europe is trying to deal with and they view turkey as a partner they don't want to have bad relations with turkey which is understandable but that shouldn't be in exchange of uh, the destruction of rule of law and democracy and an independent judiciary in Turkey. There are geopolitical concerns, there are security concerns, and there are, of course, bilateral relationships between members of the Council of Europe and Turkey, and they are all seeking their own interests. Forgetting the fact that this council was based on, it was established on the notions of democracy, rule of law, and human rights but they, they have more, in quotation marks, real political concerns. So, unfortunately, this parliament is acting as a governmental body. This is a parliamentary body, and they should be responsible to the people, not simply follow the decisions of their governments. It seems that the Turkish delegation had a lot of lobbying in some centers, some capitals in Europe. They somehow convinced those governments and it seems that they influenced also the decision of the Bureau here. So unfortunate because the decision was made, 14 people were against an urgent debate on Turkey and 13 people were for it. Just one vote. We challenged this decision at the assembly here at the plenary uh, we had the majority 94 to 68 but that wasn't enough because in order to challenge the decision of the bureau you need two-thirds majority we couldn't reach that but it was obvious that uh, a significant majority of the people members of parliamentary assembly wanted to have an urgent debate on turkey but that was blocked by one single vo uh, vote Right, one difference, 14 to 13. And interestingly, that vote came from the chair of the monitoring committee, 
a committee which proposed to have an um, an urgent debate on Turkey. So chairs are supposed to defend the the decision of their committees. But he was uh, asked by the chair of the EPP to vote against the uh, proposal. Uh, I mean, and honestly, we, we, we are losing our faith and our um, trust uh, in uh, uh, transnational institutions like the PACE. Uh, decisions should be taken in a fair and democratic and transparent way. But it seems that there are all kinds of other dealings, backdoor diplomacies, negotiations. We don't know how things are happening, but it was a totally unfair decision made by the Bureau that prevented us here, people here, so many people, to have an urgent debate on Turkey and maybe make a couple of decisions about what to do with a country that is that is rapidly being dragged into uh, 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 an authoritarian, even a dictatorial role. As I said, I really don't know how decisions are being made here, but we know that very recently there were some news that some quite high-ranking people at the Parliamentary Assembly of Council of Europe, they were bribed. Uh, uh, and the allegation is that the Azeri delegation here, for example, uh, bribed um, the former chair of EPP in the amount of $2.5 million. Uh, the former chair of EPP admitted to uh, receiving that money, but for some advice on some agricultural policy in Azerbaijan. I personally don't believe in that. I mean, it's just... Um, ridiculous. Uh, but then many other names are also mentioned in that case. So it seems that if correct, if these allegations are correct, it seems that the top ranking people in this very institution, uh, which uh, claims to represent the will of people, uh, they are involved in a, a very horrible, terrible situation of corruption. And if that is true, really, it means that these people are promoting their own interests rather than the interests of the people that they are supposed to uh, represent. Um, I don't mean anything about like the specific thing about Turkey, I mean how things happen, but uh, uh, given that there are so many news about corruption, about backdoor kind of dealings, secret uh, meetings, agreements, we don't know, but it seems that anything cap can happen. Uh, in such institutions which are kind of the leading institutions of uh, Western civilization uh, and that is a very, very sad fact now. Thank you very much to have taken the time to answer my questions.